<laughs> you literally look like a captured nut right now. Yeah. I didn't invent numbers. I almost took my breath away. Nice. Oh. Okay. This is happening. What is that? Kirby, what are you doing to my nerves, boy? Oh, you're so ill prepared for this. We're a little down, but not defeated. But it's promised. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are working on Harvey the RV, our 1976 Dodge Cruise Air, and we have got a boatload of stuff to do, and we are behind the eight ball. We've got deadlines, and I don't know about Christy, but I'm concerned. Yeah, we basically have less than 24 hours to get this guy on the road. So we're out here in our garage. We've got our couches here. We've got to get them put together. We've got a sweet new addition to Harvey. Besides the couches, which are going to be amazing, maybe if we can pull it off, um, that we're going to show you in just a minute. The goal is that we are going to take Harvey on the road for an hour drive. Well, it'll take longer if we avoid the expressways, <laughs> but we're going to take him on the road. It's going to be our test drive. Um, our twins are at college and their birthday's tomorrow. And what 18-year-olds don't want to have birthday cake? in an old RV. I mean, I know I would. They'll love it. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to try to get this guy on the road and go celebrate their birthday with them. Stay tuned. We've got a ton to do. Very little time. Couches have to go in, seat belts, engine stuff. Our gas just drains under the ground right now. So <laughs> time's wasted. Yeah. So here's the layout. This couch is going to stay pretty much the same. We got some minor disassembly to do with that one. That's going to be against the back wall of the camper. Okay, so this is the the piece that is going to butt up next to the couch, and that side is going to be next to the bathroom. We've got to take off this armrest. Yeah, we're hoping to basically make a sectional out of these. And then this pops out of here like a fold out. But it is too big, so we've got to shorten this bad boy up. We are going to remove this section. We are going to pull this section into where the back folds down, and so that will shorten our bed. We've got to rearrange some bracketry and uh, essentially wish us luck. The only thing we really want to do to this one is take out that black section right there. Um, and that way we'll have some storage. We're actually going to need to fit our fresh water tank under here. Maybe our water pump. Um, we haven't exactly designed the whole plumbing situation yet, but hopefully this is an easy pop out and we'll just be like, yeah, that one's done. We got to figure out, yeah, how this slides apart. <laughs> Amen. Strength. Right. I thought this was going to be super easy. So we got these couches in an online auction. And um, I think I might have mentioned it before, but I got into a little bit of a bidding war. I think it was still a good deal, but we paid a little more than we thought we were going to pay. Um, they were quite a drive to go pick them up. So I don't know, two hours or something, Tyler drove. And I didn't go. Tyler took Jack. Yeah, it was like four hours round trip. We took the minivan. Uh, Christy lovingly refers to it as a cargo van. It's not quite that big. But we did get the two couches in there. We crammed them in there. It was something to behold. Um, I don't know how you did that, honestly. Uh, there was a lot of spatial reasoning involved. I mean, you really have to, you know, Tetris it into the van. Um, yeah, it was pretty intense. I thought it was going to be a little bit more simple. You pull the pins, and yet, I, I don't even know. Like a captured nut. <laughs> you literally look like a captured nut right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're in that. Come couch. on now. <laughs> you getting it? Oh, finally. It'll never be the same, but I got it. All right. Okay. Now, so now we try to get that black chunk off. Oh, that one came right off. Right. That mosquito is humongous. I feel uh -huh. like I should explain that we don't just keep a bunch of trash under the old foosball table. Foosball. 
the twins, when they were moving out, packed up a bunch of clothes to give to Goodwill. And, well, that's what that is. Come on. Feel the noise. Oh, I thought we were singing. <laughs> Girls, rock your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, I like the glove. Do we dare? Boop. <laughs> well, there shouldn't be a reason why it wouldn't hold us up. Well, I don't know. We just took out multiple pieces. Yeah. All right, time's a waste, This next one's going to be way easy. Just kidding. We have to sawzaw this baby. I do need that heavy end. Whoa, she's a wonky one. So this... It's going to be amazing if it fits. Obviously, we can't screw it together out here, but this will just screw here. This has to up. Mm -hmm. So this is basically <laughs> what it's going to look like besides the <laughs> slant. But one problem that we're going to have is we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven couch pillows to make up the back of the couch and we have six. So this armrest fabric at some point, probably not before five o'clock tomorrow, is gonna need to be made into a, another cushion for the couch. Just a quick overview of what we're gonna do. This is the couch that's gonna be the bed here. This is the bed portion. Now these brackets, they fold out this way right now. Because the way the cushion is going to pull out from the couch, these brackets aren't going to work. So we're going to pull those off and turn them. So now they're going to swing out this way and you'll get support in the front side of the cushions here. We bought this metal tubing stuff that we're going to bolt on here. This bracket, which was the original that used to swing the other way, is now going to mount on the ends of that tube on this threaded rod that's gonna slip through and it's all gonna work perfectly. Do you ever have an idea so crazy that it just might work? Boom. Yeah, going for a test fit. Got the couch in the old cargo van. We're going to go and see if we can get the second couch to fit in there. We're not going to get the permanent fit tonight, but um, we'll get them in place maybe if this one will fit into the door. Seat belts and we're on the road. No. <laughs> <laughs> Except for all those other things. I would keep going, but I think you're done. I'm done. All right. I mean, I gotta get up in six hours. Let's give them a shot of the couch. Are we gonna raise the roof or what? One couch is in, one left to go. We gotta take care of this menagerie. So that's first thing in the morning. We'll see you then. Welcome back everybody. It's a brand new morning after about seven hours of sleep. We are ready to get started again. So we told you yesterday we had a new addition to Harvey, something exciting that's going to make our trips even better. So what we have here is the Bouge RV Aspen 40. You can tell that it's an Aspen because of the way it is. Pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of people when we said we were ditching propane were kind of concerned about, you know, our food and how we we're going to keep things cold on long trips. And um, they reached out and asked if we wanted to try out this new fridge freezer. And we said yes. So we're going to unbox it. And um, there's actually a portable power pack. Like it doesn't even need to be plugged into the DC, but it can be. Um, but we want to make sure that it's charged and ready to go so we can keep our ice cream cold on the way to the party. Right. Wow. Oh, very cool. Oh, dang. Look at all the space. 
All right. This thing is sweet. So the baskets, so you don't have to try to dig around for your stuff. That's awesome. So this can be fridge, 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 freezer, or freezer, freezer. And down below is the cold section with the ice drive for the ice cream storage. I mean, you can literally put ice cream in here. Look at that. Keep it frozen on your road trips. Now that is cool. Oh, girls said they wanted chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream, so... We'll have to get some different options and put them in there. So this stuff then must be the battery. Oh boy. Oh, wow, that's deep. So you get your cigarette lighter plug in. See how long that cord is. It comes with two different ones, a short one and a long one. Nice. So we actually, if we don't have time to make a level platform, it, it has to ride pretty much level, which between our front seats is not level. But if we use the longer cord, we could set it, you know, in front of the kitchen or bathroom and not have to worry about building a platform today. And I believe this does plug into a regular AC outlet. Nice. All right. Yeah, we probably should have put on fancier clothes for this. But you know what? You can't buy clothes like this. You have to earn them. Yeah. <laughs> all, of, <laughs> all of our clothes look like this in the videos. We don't dress like this in normal life. No, we dress worse. Oh. No, just kidding. That is a serious battery. I think this battery, like if you're not plugged in, I think you can power this. I wish I knew for sure. It was like 10 hours or something crazy that this will keep it cold. Oh, I guess we could read the directionis. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Reading. <laughs> reading processing <laughs> reading <laughs> we'll just keep that for later uh but anyway let's check this out so here's a cord oh man here it is look at this behemoth holy smokes and the cool thing is this doesn't mount like it doesn't take up space inside the whole inside is open for your food and ice cream and all that here's another charger if you want to just charge the battery um it mounts on the outside so i've got one more box here that i'm assuming is the mounting bracket and let's get this battery installed just unboxed ye old bracket got the battery i clicked a little power button on top and this sucker's at 99 percent right out of the gate so let's put it on there and try to fire this fridge up and nope <laughs> Uh, no. Remember those instructions? Yeah. I wonder if I should have read them. I don't know. It's going. Boom! No. No. Oh, wait. The, the display is like this. Oh, it's at 66%. <laughs> okay, well, it's still good. <laughs> 66. I had it upside down. I didn't invent numbers. We'll let you know if this works out. If we arrive and have milkshakes for the birthday party then you'll know maybe this isn't for you <laughs> hmm. there is you can charge your phone here there's a light if you want to use this for that there's an input or output USB-C and then there, there's other ways to charge this I like that this cord is so short that it just goes boom right there yeah I mean and you don't need the battery for it to work but right now we don't have any power out here except for that battery. So I heard it beep though, did you? Yeah, I heard that. You know, we were wondering how we were gonna charge phones and stuff in the front as we're driving. We haven't installed anything yet. So there's a beauty right there. Do we turn it on? Yeah, do it. Oh shoot, nice. It fired up. I can hear it. Here's some instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Temp control is easy. It's just up and down. Then ice drive mode. Press and hold the plus and minus buttons on the left at the same time to enter ice drive mode. All right, let's see. It shows two hands, so you got to oh, two-hand it. Right. There it ice. goes. Ice. I think this is going to be awesome. We're going to actually turn it off. Charge that battery up to full because there's no guarantees that we're not going to break down. Right. And so, um, and we're ready for that. Yeah. So let's go charge the battery. We'll get back to work inside. We've got a ton to do. And 
we'll throw this in there, throw in some ice cream and head to the birthday party. So it's crunch time. We wanted to uh, prevent any uh, mishaps on the road. So I went ahead and replaced the fuel hose. So you can see there's some cracks in that one on that end. And this is coming from the gas tank directly into the hard line. Ah. So I noticed the last time I had the engine running, of course the fuel pump's going and uh, it's just dribbling gas out back there. So I went ahead and replaced this fuel hose, replaced the uh, fuel filter while I was at it. Hopefully everything else is good. Um, the hard line seemed to be um, in good shape. So we got right. that done. Pop off some fluids, get the grill back on. And then we have to come in here. And I think they say it's always darkest before the dawn. And that's kind of the situation we have going right now. So we're running out of time, but in order to get the couch in, we had to cap off a drain pipe from here that used to run to the kitchen. And we had to move this outlet, so we had to patch a little paneling there. Threw a quick coat of paint on it, and this couch is coming up. We have that plumbing vent that's in the way of the couch. So we're gonna have to lop out a chunk of the armrest. So to know what size chunk we need to remove, I have to make a box to cover that vent. We're gonna nail that or screw that into place. And then basically, we'll sawzall the couch, I guess. He just got hit by a walnut. <laughs> So there I was, minding my own business out in front of Harvey, trying to get some work done. Went out of nowhere, boom, walnut, right in the middle of the back. I mean, it almost took my breath away. Okay, we've got the cover over the vent. So things are taking way, way longer than we hoped about 2.30. We're supposed to leave in a couple hours, so we may or may not be able to take Harvey. If we have to take the van, we will. We'll just have to take Harvey for a cruise tomorrow, but I'm trying not to feel too defeated, because there's still a chance. Seatbelts are going in. Where's your lunch more stuff? Right there. We're trying to get the cabinets cleaned out for the ride so things aren't falling on our heads. No thanks. <laughs> Kids are home from school. Ella's having an after school snack. Tyler's, <laughs> Tyler's gonna take a nap. We've got Jackie Boy out here reattaching the seats again. The dog house is a big concern because without that on, it is hot. This thing is so hot. I don't know how that is not gonna melt the doghouse. This bag is going to get melted and I am terrified right now. I mean, is this as hot as it normally will get? This feels like extreme. <laughs> the heat is so unbearable. That was so intense. Like an upward hair dryer blasting up my nose. It is burning my foot to death. <laughs> so I'm wearing flip-flops and my foot is one inch from the engine yeah. and it is crazy. I didn't want to Insane. call it a panic attack, but you seem to be on edge. <laughs> and we don't have the clips or the new gasket in. Um, it's hard to hold it the whole time as you drive down the road. So we'll see. Whoa. No. Did it make it? It wants to go in at a hitting something yeah you can do it oh yeah nice <laughs> update got about an hour until we want to leave trying to get the seat belts in might have drilled it into some wiring yeah time will tell sure enough oh so Here's the hole. You can see some daylight where I came through with the drill bit. You can also see where I managed to mangle some wires. That was not planned. Uh, those are taillight wires. Oh, Harvey's got his old smile coming back on. 
Look at these walnuts, you guys. <laughs> this is our working environment. It's a death trap. We are about 30 minutes from the time we have to leave. We got the seats bolted back in. Tyler's going to put some latches back in the doghouse. There is no way we're going to get to being able to do anything up here in this video. We've got the Bouge RV fridge freezer running. I just turned that on so it can start cooling down. Once we start running, we'll wind up plugging it in up here to the uh, lighter area. Uh, we still have to take the fridge down. We didn't get this installed fully, safely yet, so we're going to ditch that for this drive. This is all we got in of the couch. So we still have to hack that corner off, get it pushed over. Um, so we don't have a second couch. These camping chairs are going to be our additional seating for today. We do have one beautiful seat installed. And uh, we got some seat belts in. We got the table rocking back here. And so, um, you know, stressful day. Definitely, definitely not where we had hoped to be by this point. But we got to wrap up these last couple things, take showers, and get on the road. Okay, this is happening. We're loading it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. We are on the road. We had one drawer slide open already in the first minute. These doors up here aren't latched, but we're gonna try to make this happen. <laughs> How is it back there? A few inches later. What is that? Sounds to me like a belt spoil. Obviously, obviously, <laughs> yeah. obviously. We made it a quarter mile, and we've got a belt that is just hollering. I need you to bump the gas a little bit. Bump the gas. Again? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I need the solid rev like you're <laughs> trying to run me over. I'm barely touching it. <laughs> Is that better? Alright. I guess we gotta shut it down and try to tighten the alternator belt. Dang God. Oh, so does this put an end to our uh, test drive number two? Um, I wish things weren't 3,000 degrees right now. It does make it a little bit more of a challenge. <sighs> um, we can't really make it there at idle speed. No, not really. Um, I'm trying to uh, decide what we should do. I really don't have a good suggestion because everything is so hot and in order to work on it right now, it would be pretty, uh, Pretty intense. I don't know. I mean, we can go to the gas station and get gas, and then it'll squall the whole way there. I don't think it's going to clear up. Do we give it another quarter mile to see? Yeah, we can do that. Mm. We still have our sign from our first test drive. If you haven't seen that video, we overheated severely. How are we doing on temp? Oh, uh, we're sitting at about 180 right now. Nice. Not bad. So we're just gonna drive another quarter mile, get some gas, and I imagine we'll probably drive it back home. But... Oh, dang. Okay, so it's not doing it. It's not doing it at all. Yeah. Why? Oh, Harvey, what are you doing to my nerves, boy? Seriously, we're doing awesome now. <laughs> we haven't gone a tenth of a mile. Well, I have hope now. I mean, it was every time your foot hit the pedal before. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, stuff's what? tipping over back here. <laughs> oh, you're so ill prepared for this. I got blower doodads, tablecloth, candles, and the banner. And the banner. Should we hang this up like? Yeah. Like right over there? I or should we wait right till we here. get there? Let's see how long it is. Oh, fancy. Or do you not want that waving around the whole way? Is it fine? Okay. Should we tape the middle too or just let it swoop? Just let it swoop. Alright, good swoop. job, guys. Whoa. I'm not pretending like I know what's going on. We got to go home, don't we? No. I don't know. You want to go home? I mean, wait, like it comes and goes. What if it comes and stays? Oh, they're going to... Oh. It's not going to give us any sort of respite this time. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know what to even say. This is so disappointing. We're headed back home. If we don't turn around now, we won't make it in time for a birthday dinner, and that's the most important. So, this is so crazy. For a minute, it stopped. I had like legitimate hope that it just was like, you know. Yeah. In a rut or something, and that it worked its way into the groove. I don't know if those are terms that people use for belts, but like it did it like crazy, and then for no reason it stopped. And then now, it, every time you hit the gas pedal. We're still keeping the ice cream dream alive. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Harvey gets to stay home. Yep. We're taking Uncle Vanny. So all day today we kept saying if we just had one more day, if we just had one more day, I don't know if we still would have foreseen the belt issue, but we're going to take the van, celebrate with our baby girls, and then we'll be back out tomorrow and try to wrap up some things we didn't have time for. Get the other couch in and definitely that belt. So. We're a little down, but not defeated. We'll come back. So we forgot the ice cream scoop and Harvey and the plates and the spoons. So we had to make a quick kit stop, but we're in the ice cream aisle. I brought the bin oh. from the freezer. Oh, it fits. fits. Nice. Wow. So should we get a biggie like this or... Two smalls? Or like smaller. Uh... I don't know. Variety? You like the pistachio. I do like some pistachio. You want that? Yeah, for sure. Coffee chocolate brownie. Amazing. Ooh, will that fit? Should we get just these three? We just had an awesome dinner with the girls. We're going to see if the ice cream is still ice cream or if we've got milkshakes. Oh yeah, lit up inside. Oh, we didn't put the lid over it? Oh man, yeah. did we ruin it? No, oh no, it's, it's perfect. Here, you want to open it and we can show? Okay. Oh yeah, it's ice cold, that's for sure. Probably should have put the lid on though, hindsight. In hindsight. Lesson learned. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. That is. That's frozen. Frozen. I mean, that is frozen, frozen. That's awesome. That's been in the car. All right, let's take those in. We're going to sing happy birthday, cake and ice cream. Right. And, uh, and brownies. we will see you guys tomorrow. And brownies. Ah, <sighs>
All right. So we didn't end up getting to take Harvey to the birthday dinner. We still had a nice dinner. And now today we're going to try to finish up those last few things we wanted to do before that test drive and hopefully go on a squeak free test drive today. Yeah. So about the squeak, uh, that's what prevented us. It's the alternator pulley or alternator belt is what most likely is the culprit. I've got to space that out, the, the alternator uh, bracket, and I'm hoping that cures our issue. Um, just do a little bit of tightening up um, here and there, and we should be hopefully back on the road. We have to chop up this armrest, so I guess we just start cutting. You're going oh, to have a new hat. A little bonnet for Ella. You could be a total nurse for Halloween. Oh my gosh. A nurse from the 1870s. It's his sign. Isn't that awesome? What? We'll put a little red like cross on the front. In my free time, I... Uh, like oh boy, now what is she? <laughs> oh, there you go. That is kind of overwhelming. So in my free time when I'm not doing this, I moonlight as a haberdasher. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good trivia question. What is a haberdasher? Right. 200 imaginary dollars to anyone who knows the correct answer. We did that with the multi-tool. Going to hit this probably with the sawzall. <laughs> Jigsaw? Jigsaw. Sawzaw. Jigsaw. Come on, they look at it there, so lonely. Right? Jigsaw? Yeah. Dang. Just, it'll, so until fun. I mess it up, and then we'll go sawzaw. Hold stinky? Oh no! No, I don't want to hold stinky. Why not? Because I'm not a fan of Beatles. Me neither. But stinky's different. Oh, he's different. Mhm. Mm Grab this exterior corner trim. I think it's Dicor tape. It's super sticky. It's not ideal for here. There's a stink bug behind me. Oh, he's on the inside. You want to get that one? It must be Mr. Stinky's wife. Um, they do fly. He flies. Mm hmm Is it on me? No. Oh, he's in the crack. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. Um, we'll come back over it at some point when inspiration strikes and um, put something that won't look like generic fabric tape, most likely. Um, but there's these little, like, strings and whatnot where if we don't take care of those, then they're just gonna wind up unraveling the whole way down. So just throw this on and we'll be back in business. Slapped a tiny bit of paint on here to try to not have to work it in the crack. So we're gonna pause on the couch for a second, check out the alternator belt and come back here in a few. So when I did the uh, radiator and fan shroud and all that stuff earlier, I broke a bolt in the old alternator. That's why we got a new one. That and we wanted reliability. Well, when we put the new one on, I noticed that the belt pulleys weren't lined up exactly. And I believe that's where our squeak's coming from. So I'm just going to shim out the, uh, the alternator just a fraction uh, with a washer or two and see if that helps alleviate our squeal. And then we'll go from there. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is fun. Jeez. <laughs> this isn't how I imagine things. <laughs> well, oh, see? Oh, karma. That's karma, right. Oh, shoot. Get All em. right. I'll like, give him his hat back before we get killed by walnuts. Okay. Status update. Shim the alternator. Just 
very slightly. I don't think that was ultimately the problem, although it did help with the alignment. Belt was somewhat loose. I felt like it was a good amount of tension. What I wound up doing, it was tightening it even more. And now we've got the most minimal squeak uh, under full throttle. Um, under load, if it happens again, then we're back to the drawing board. But uh, everything else seems to be good, so. All right, well, let's finish getting that couch in and then we'll take it for a spin. Sure. We have basically no room to spare. I mean, we're actually probably a half inch short on the, the width here, mm -hmm. and we're just hoping that it fits. So I think it's good. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, we're clapping? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Whoa, what in the world? Jeez. Okay, we just carried the back in. We're gonna try to get it attached to use it to know where to line up this back piece and then our front piece. And to chop this around the wheel well. We reinforced it a little on the end, so hopefully that piece doesn't give us problems. We, we need dish soap or butter. It's funny that you grab the camera when Lard. it comes to the very precise moment when things are most tense and could fail in my direction. I'm not tense. I'll be tense when no. this thing snaps or we well, snap this wall right in half. That's what I'm saying. I remember a ladder. I remember a <laughs> screen. I remember just different things. I mean, if something terrible is about to happen, we don't want to miss that. <laughs> I don't think anyone blames you anymore. <laughs> right. Do you want dish soap? I think we have some. Do you think dish soap? I mean, I don't know, babe. <laughs> okay, the cushions fit. So why does that not fit? I don't have answers. Platinum easy squeeze. I think that means it's for squeezing stuff into well, I tight spots. I remember spots. the last time we used it. I do. It was the day we broke down the first time. <laughs> oh, that doesn't go on there. Taking the old black tank for a whirl. All right, got some water. So if you'll notice, Christy and I swapped spots for this uh, job. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, I'm not saying You're I'm... You're scared. Um, no, I'm not saying I'm gun shy. I'm just saying I am scared. You don't want to be the one that... This is gonna slide in like nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't, don't oh boy me. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Boy, oh 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 boy. <laughs> oh man. Why? I don't even get it. Holy smokes. It's going, shh. <laughs> I mean, if we've come this far, <laughs> you can go if we've come this far. two more inches. You're crying out loud. Okay. Uh, I gotta get stinking position for this. Oh yes. <laughs> it's gonna. Is it gonna crack? I don't know. At this point, I mean, are we gonna the blow whole, the back wall out of the? Out I of was the just gonna say that the whole back wall could literally just boom. <laughs> You're doing so good, though. I know. <laughs> you don't got to tell me. <laughs> it's better come oh. up. Ah! There. It's like a recliner. Right? Wow. <sighs> a little more. Oh, okay. You're getting greedy now. I don't know. You're supposed to be my eyes on the It looks good from here. Ground. Can't see it from my house. Can't see it from Elmont. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. <laughs> well, Elmont was the next town over growing up. And when my dad would work, if something was close enough, he'd say, you can't see it from Elmont. What do you have to say about this? Hey, at least it's in. Yeah, girl. yeah it's not bad. I mean, I it, mean it's weird. <laughs> it is like... like you know, he'd still, you could sleep two people though, bottom line. Sure. You've got a sectional couch now. 
which you had two couches before that we didn't even know that they were going to fit. They definitely are going to fit. You've increased your sleeping capacity. I think it's a win. Here we go again. Are you buckled up? Yeah. Nice. All right. So how far are we going to make it? We're going to make it just as far as we want. Are we? Yeah. I need to drive this as much as humanly possible right now. At what point did it start squealing before? Not here. No. Okay. Uh, right when we turned out onto the road. Look how nice it looks back there. Are you comfy, Al? Are you going to give it the juice? Right here? Yeah, right here. Hey! Oh, that door flung open. <laughs> you just wanted to make it hotter in here. <laughs> no, I just wanted to see if it was going to scream its full head off. Oh. Oh, man. This is the stuff right here. <laughs> Oh, this is what it should have been like trying to go to the birthday hey, we, party. We've barely gone 200 yards, so let's Okay, leave. well, this is better than before already, isn't it? Yeah, it does seem to be a little better. Okay. It's right about here that stuff always goes wrong for us. <laughs> check on the holiday rambler oh boy we literally have not we have not looked at this since we brought it here really we checked on it once so should we look inside and see if there's raccoons taking up residence oh man it looks like i remembered it i bet there's hundred dollar bills in each of those coffee cans I can't wait to start on this and see those, but oh yeah, looks just like we left it. We're going to have to think of a name for Watch it. Out for mosquitoes. We're thinking, I don't know, something old timey, not to offend anyone, but like Jane, June, Nancy, fancy Nancy. Get ready. I think we got to go a little fancier with this one. Harvey's a little more rugged. But let, let us know if you have any good names. Some exciting news. Those of you who are from Michigan know how stressful it is to try to get a state park campsite. And I was on the notifications list. Um, while we were out, I got a notification, jumped right on, and got a campsite for this coming weekend, which is the trick-or-treating weekend. It should be awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the pressure's on again, which we want to avoid ever doing that again. But now pressure's on because we're going to camp in Harvey if we make it there. Um, but I feel a lot better after the test drive. 
Yeah, significantly better. I mean, if I'm being honest, I was, I had the the uh, percentages pretty low that <laughs> yeah. things were going to go well, and it went. Uh, it it performed better than my expectations by a long shot. Um, temperature stayed rock solid, probably 180. Uh, you know, uh, oil pressure was good. It was charging. No, no major flaws. Um, I think knock on wood, uh, that we could probably make it at least an hour away. You jinxed us so bad just now. Um, but we still have a lot of work to do in there. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. So we're going to wrap things up. We wanted to thank Bouge RV for that awesome fridge freezer. Cool. Um, even if we don't get a chance to put ours, uh, the 110 fridge back in, um, it's a perfectly good option. I oh, mean, yeah. and it saved the day for the birthday party um it kept it cold the whole time it was on the battery and that ice cream was perfect so yep um big thanks to them and thank you all for watching um all of you who are commenting we're doing our best to work on this and respond at the same time not at the same time but in between and um we just appreciate it and all the new subscribers it's been really exciting so if you like what you saw in this video and you're excited to see us stress out again next video Let's while we try to get down. this camping give us a thumbs up we appreciate it all right take care guys we'll see you next time good night